What's going on, fellas? In today's video, we're going to break down how to effectively run match defense here in Madden 20. You know, match has gained a lot of steam as we got later in the year. It's very popular. It's one of the best ways to defend bunch, uh, trips, all these high-powered passing attacks. Um, it's a great mix-in, too, as well. I ran match a lot last year in the Madden 19 Club Championship, so I'm very, uh, you know, I'm very used to it. I know how to run it. So in this video, we're going to break down the little nuances, the little adjustments you can make to it, uh, specifically Couple Four Palms, probably my favorite match defense in the game. Subscribe to the channel, man. Hitting that bell so you're notified when I drop all this content. We have daily content now. The Madden season is dying down, getting ready for Madden 21. Make sure you go ahead and check out my coaching lessons here. I have 30-minute and 60-minute sessions available, all in the link in the description below. I'm trying to make you guys a better Madden player. We've had a lot of people purchase these lessons, and they've been very happy. I have returning customers. So I've been a, it's been a lot of fun for me to do that. I also have that free West Coast ebook. Um, I'll put that in the link in the description below, as well as the free Run and Gun. I have a free defensive ebook. So all these ebooks can be found in the link in the description below. And uh, that's it, guys. So let's jump in. How to effectively run match coverage in Madden 20? So in today's video, we're going to break down how to effectively run match defense in Madden 21. You know, it's gotten a lot of steam here lately. It's been very popular the last few years, really come onto the scene. I ran it a lot last year in my deep club championship run. We've seen it a lot this year. You know, we saw Joke run it in the Final Four versus Pavin of the Madden Bowl. So it's really an effective defense because it's very unique. It's very difficult to beat. Um, it kind of catches you off guard if you haven't seen it before, you know, because we don't see it super popular uh, every year, especially uh, this year until the end of the year. So let's jump into it. So first we're gonna go we're gonna go up against all the meta formations. So I picked the Patriots playbook on offense because they have a lot of the stuff we'll see. So now we're just gonna be in the cover four palms. That's my it's the best version of match this year in my opinion. Um, cover three match is okay. You can kind of make some adjustments to to be good with that. But cover four palms to me is the best one. You can run this first all the meta formations. So I'll show you the adjustments I make. So I like to have auto flip on for this by the way. So your slot DB will always line up with their slot receiver if they're in a bunch set. Um, or if they're in any kind of tight or bunch set, compressed set, it also will allow the slot DB to be opposite of the running backs. You can kind of it kind of makes for a better uh, run defense as well. So we're gonna come out in corner strike, a pretty popular place. So right off the jump, we like to uh, shift our whole defense down. Then we're gonna man up the solo side receiver over there. I like to shade outside, then shade up, so it's gonna look like this. I like to crash down and contain, and I'm gonna just click off the linebacker. Um, just and I'll be on like one of the D tackles so you guys can just see how the defense will react um, How they kind of match on to all the receivers. So this is my bunch setup I always like to solo or man up the solo side receiver So even if they flip it we're gonna reset the play or flip with them to get our slot DB lined up correctly over there um, But we're always gonna solo side that single receiver versus bunch and then we're gonna shade outside and shade up And we shade over the top because we don't want anyone to get burnt over the top. Um, we always want a lot of speed in our secondary for this. Obviously, man and zone cover ratings are important, but speed to me is the most important when we're running a lot of match concepts. Also, if they start to run verticals uh, with that motioned out wheel route on the bunch side, sometimes you'll see that versus match. I'll just go ahead and outside quarter or deep half that uh, outside corner over there if, you, if they start to hit you with that. So let's go ahead and, and take a look at it. As you can see, just everything is covered. He has to check down underneath. I'm going to go ahead and take a look at the replay for you guys and show you how these defenders kind of just, they start, so it starts with like a zone look is what it is, and then they kind of just latch on into a man-to-man -man defense. So let's take a look here. As you see, let's take a look from the outside first. We know this is going to be a corner route coming from the outside bunch receiver. Now, you see Kevin King kind of starts on the outside, then boom, right about here, matches onto him completely bags the corner out and you know I get a lot of questions whether it be in my comments section on YouTube or on Twitter on social media which you can follow me at T Davis brand but I get a lot of questions how do I stop corner outs TD what do I do corner outs kind of destroy me and my first answer is always match defense there's other ways to do it but match defense for me is my favorite way to slow down these corner routes as you can see there boom right off the jump I mean this guy this corner out is just completely bagged there's no chance you'd ever throw that then you take a look underneath here all these guys are picked up. Uh, flat guy plays the flat route over here. Then we have the little uh, the little hook route right here to Edelman. And so usually I like to user that this linebacker in the middle in the yellow. So you just want to be very cautious of the middle. So you want to just watch that little hook route right there with him. And then on the right side, same thing. This this C route corner route is pretty bagged over here. Um, 
that's Jair Alexander, so he's got good uh, man coverage ratings as well versus Philip Dor Dorsett. But you see Dorsett has that speed. A speed uh, he has this big speed difference over Jair, so you, obviously you want speed over there before ratings, in my opinion. But they, even if they throw that, it's probably going to be picked or even swatted. And then the last thing is the flat over here. So really bags up the bunch offense, in my opinion, right now. It's the best bunch defense in the game. Let's jump into the next formation. It's going to be the same thing for the split close. You know, popular play we see is that PA shot with double crossers. So same thing versus this. Right away, we're just going to pinch the defense. We're going to man up that solo side receiver, which is Edelman. I like to shade outside, then shade up, crash down. Um, and then I'll usually lurk on this guy. But to show you, I want to show you how, so you're going to kind of want to watch the crossing routes. You know, when you play split close, you know that the main thing is these crossing routes or these posts that go to the sidelines, sometimes some corner routes. So what you're going to want to look for is, I like to kind of bump these two crossing routes. You know that the slot guy or this outside solo guy are on crossing routes. So I'll kind of just lurk this middle area. And you, the safety on the right side is usually going to pick up the crossing route here from the left. So this safety right here, Amos, he will usually pick up coming from uh, the left side on a crossing route. So sometimes he might be a, little, be a little late. If there's a good route running here on the slot, you want to be careful. He could burn him. Uh, but it's nice because it's almost like a cross-man situation where he's coming from the, the, uh, the wide side of the field to pick up the man on the opposite side of the field. So it's a really good uh, way to stop these crossing routes, but you just want to be careful in case he does have a lot of speed there and gets burnt. So I'll just kind of watch that with this lurk over the middle. As you can see, just nothing open. Those crossing routes get completely bagged. Let me go ahead and take a look at the replay for you guys. So obviously, a lot of you know good players will put a. They don't have a tight end there. They'll put a speedy receiver there. They'll make an adjustment there. They they kind of sometimes streak this guy or even put him on a drag. But that that's going to be the same exact uh, look. So here, we see Edelman. He's completely bagged right there on the crossing route. We can even watch that though if we wanted to because say. So see this how this safety kind of picks him up. He's a little late on it, but they have to throw that soon. If they wait to the sidelines, you're going to be able to make a play with that if you click on. So regarding your user, you can even come over here and watch this crosser if you wanted to, if you feel like he's going to burn his man straight up. So I kind of just, like I said, sit in the middle, and I kind of just wait, kind of maybe bump one of the routes too mid during the play, and then I'll choose one, whichever one looks like is going to be more open. But as you can see, the coverage is pretty solid on both routes. Next formation we're going to break down is out of the trips tight end formation. We see this formation very popular as well. It's been the last couple of years. Um, I really like match versus as well. I ran this a uh, decent amount last year when I seen trips. Not as much this year because I feel like I like cover three cloud. I like to cross man. I like Tampa two with adjustments versus it a little bit more. But I still do mix in the the match defense versus it. And the, the setup for this is a little different. So we're, once again we're going to come down and shift our defense. But now for this. This free safety, what I like to do with him is just put him in a different zone. And what that's going to do is kind of activate the match defense even more. So I usually will put him in a deep half like this in case they have a wheel route coming from the slot to come to the sidelines. What you can also do is a inside third like this in case they run verticals and some for some reason or they streak one of the guys up the middle and he kind of gets open. So that's one of the two adjustments I'll make. Either one, whatever you kind of want to guard. So we'll do the inside third here. Um, and then we're gonna kind of just uh, I like to crash I like to crash the D line down and contain and go once again and I'll just lurk on one of the D tackles just so you see the setup and how the defense uh, will kind of match onto the receivers. So as you can see, kind of a fluky play right there, but I want to go ahead and take a look at the replay because remember when we play trips. Crossing routes are king, right? And that's what is kind of you always want to shut down. So, like I said, we definitely want the speed in the secondary. Uh, speed at safety will be huge, because as you'll see here, this crossing route that's going to curl across the field is going to get picked up by both guys right here, and it's just not going to be open on the sidelines. Then, when you look over on the left side, we do have this wheel route. That's why we like to have that deep half over there, just in case. As you can see, we had the inside third, so if we had a deep half, he'd be over there even quicker. Um, they threw it soon, and this guy kind of got off the post and kind of clicked onto him. So it's just a very, you know, weird defense because these guys kind of play all – they they match onto receivers, but they still will play like their zones. That's why it's a very intriguing, a very good defense this year. Um, and 
So versus trips, I would recommend not running a uh, match every play because there are ways to beat it out of trips, in my opinion, even more than other formations. So if you're facing a lot of trips, I would mix up your coverages. You know, run some of this match cover four pumps. Run some Tampa 2, uh, man some of the guys up, whether it be the slot receiver. Uh, put your linebacker in the middle in a, you know, in a deep blue over the middle. Or cover three cloud I really like versus trips. Um, so doing different things, mixing up your coverages can really work versus trips. All right, guys. Now the last one is going up against a formation like single back wing tight, as you can see here. It's really good run defense. This cover four palms. So what the setups I like to do is kind of similar to the bunch concepts. I'm just going to man up that solo side. If they do start to you know try to throw a streak with Tyreek or Hollywood Brown or one of these fast guys, I'll put this guy in a deep half as well to watch over him. It it will still really activate the match concept. Um, but for this, we're just going to uh, say same thing. Shade shade outside, then shade up. I like to crash down, contain, and we're going to kind of just lurk on one of the D linemen just to show you how it activates and how the match works. But this cover four palms can be really good run defense as well. The guys are in the run fits, and I'll break that down. I run this a lot versus like strong close and some of the run formations. I really like it versus single back wing tight. Um, we see a lot of this now later in the year where guys have three tight ends with a hot route master, and they're kind of do corner routes and post routes and, and different things mixed in the run game. But this can still be really good run defense as well. I like to come back here. So like I said, the safeties play really good run defense in this. And I'll come back here with my linebacker and kind of just wait and kind of blow it up, similar to the 3-3-5 wide defense. And if I really want to sell out to the run, putting your safeties in spies will work even better as well. But for the sake of if they start to pass out of this formation, I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys what it will look like. So as you can see, everything was covered right there. Uh, our flat defender kind of latched on. He starts off his in zone like we've talked about, then kind of latches on to that drag route the last second, and they're only going to be able to make a two-yard completion out of this. So everywhere you look here, the flats are going to be covered. Boom, right there, two-yard gain. Boom, over here, two-yard gain. We have this guy manned up over here. He's not doing anything. And then over the middle is just covered with three defenders. So just nothing really working if they try to throw a corner out over here on the sidelines we have two guys as well that are going to match on so this really bags that single back wing tight formation let me show you guys some run defense out of it all right so when you guys see a lot of strong close or these strong formations when they audible from split close or say you're not sure if they're going to running formation or passing like we saw in those single back heavy formations what i like to do is come out in the double safety blitz and what that does is then when i come out in it i'll kind of move my safety just a tad like that and then I'll audible to the cover four palms to keep the safeties in the box. So now, same thing. I'm, I can run this literally stock now. I just like to shade outside, shade over the top. And then I will crash down, contain, and kind of come over here with the run defense. And it's going to be really good run defense. Like I said, all these guys are uh, in the run fits. It, it's like a man-to-man -man coverage. So they, they play really good defense in the box. The safeties will kind of come shoot through. So like I said, if you're in one of these formations where you're not sure if they're running or passing... <clears throat> This is the defense I really like to go to um, just to see what they're kind of doing. So let's take a look at it. So as you can see, hatback dive right there, one of the better runs in the game. Um, and we kind of just blew it up in the backfield. Let's take a look at the replay. Safeties play perfect right there. They kind of get picked up by blocks, but they're in the they're in the perfect uh, placement. Then we have our outside linebackers. We have our D tackles. Uh, everything in the middle is just basically clogged. There's nowhere to go. Um, so, once again, this is one of the better run defenses in the game if you want to stay in your nickel set. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video, man. This is the best way to effectively run match defense in Madden 20. Make sure you guys go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe. we got more tips on the way.